Good morning, everyone, and welcome to you all and our stream mass here at St. John the Divine Parish for the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. A warm welcome to each and every one of you. Today a light will shine upon us, for the Lord is born for us, and he will be called Wondrous God, Prince of Peace, Father of Future Ages, and his reign will be without end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary, bestowed on the human, gra human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, Thus you shall be blessed, the children of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. May God be gracious to us and bless us. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God be gracious to us and bless us. The earth has yielded its increase. God, our God, has blessed us. May God continue to bless us. Let all the ends of the earth revere him. May God be gracious to us and bless us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, 
God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption to sonship. And because you are sons and daughters, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer slave, but son, and if son, then also heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went with haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> my brothers and sisters in Christ, my favorite thing about Christmas, besides the important season to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is the delicious chocolates that are amassed. I must be careful because once in a particular parish, I ended up with a number of boxes of chocolate after this homily. But during the season of Christmas, one of my personal favorites is Faro Rocher candy. With the gold foil wrapping of a Faro Rocher candy is a multi-layered confection that seems like some kind of magic straight out of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. A single roasted hazelnut encased in a wafer shell filled with hazelnut chocolate, which is itself topped with chocolate studded and chopped hazelnuts. These magical chocolates are even more amazing when I discovered that they were inspired by the Virgin Mary herself. When the Italian chocolatier, Michel Ferrero, introduced the treats in 1982, it is believed that it was named Rocher after the craggy rock grotto that marked the place where the Blessed Mother appeared to St. Bernadette in Lourdes, France. The chocolate's hazelnut pocketed surface bears more than a passing resemblance to that rock formation at Lourdes, a place that had a very special meaning for Ferrero. As a devout Catholic, Ferrero was known for his strong devotion to Our Lady. At the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the founding of his company, he said, the success of Ferrero we owe to Our Lady of Lourdes. Without her, we can do little. Ferrero was said to have made an annual pilgrimage to Lourdes, taking his top managers along with him. He also organized a visit to the shrine for his employees and had a statue of the Virgin Mary placed in each of his company's 14 production facilities around the world. Ferrero saw the importance of the Blessed Mother, and today we celebrate her as our Mother also, our Heavenly Mother, our Blessed Mother, the Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Mother of Jesus Christ, who is fully God and fully man, adopted to be the true vessel of holiness to hold the baby Jesus in her womb until his birth and to remain in a close, intimate relationship with him. Mary's faith never wavered as she trusted fully in God's word for her. She, more than any other person in history, experienced and shared intimately in the mystery of the redemptive suffering that Christ endured for our salvation, uniting her immaculate heart to his most sacred heart. However, the beauty of the passion is revealed 
not only in our Lord giving us the gift of salvation, but also a very powerful woman to help us to receive this most precious gift. He gives us the one thing he could claim was his own, his own relationship with his mother. And he gives her most generously to the church so that she is also our mother. Today's gospel is quite profound in revealing the role Mary plays in our lives and how she leads us to Jesus Christ. As the mystery of the, the uh, child Jesus is received with wonder and awe by the shepherds, she quietly ponders these things in her heart. She also allows the grace of God to touch her most profoundly. Mary ponders those things that she did not yet fully understand. Through prayerful meditation, we can come to a greater understanding of the mysteries of our own faith. Just as Mary ponders the beautiful gift she has been given, we can ponder the many mysteries of our faith, from the Holy Mass, to the sacraments, to the gift of God becoming man, to the power of the Holy Spirit. All these are free gifts for us to ponder and meditate upon. This can be difficult, and this is why the Church and the Holy Mass gives us the best gift to do this. Silence. Whenever we hear the Word of God, whenever we hear the homily, whenever we receive Holy Communion, even spiritually in today's world, these are golden opportunities to be like Mary, to ponder these things in our heart, and not to worry about figuring out how, but more how so. How can it be that the mother of my Lord comes to me? The words of Elizabeth, her cousin, can be our words also. After this powerful encounter with the Lord, Mary reveals that the law of God is not a burden, but a great joy. We heard this at the end of the Gospel, but we heard the longer version in last Sunday's Gospel, when Christ was circumcised according to the Jewish law. His parents brought him to the temple for 40 days after his birth for ritual purification of Mary and the presentation of their firstborn son. A woman's purification following childbirth was necessary before she could come back and worship in the temple or handle holy objects. It required a sacrifice, such as a lamb or two turtle doves or two pigeons. Arguably, the miraculous conception of Christ in Mary's womb is above and beyond the stipulation of the law. However, and this is crucial, she followed the law nevertheless. Mary reveals that the laws of God are not arbitrary, but by having obedience to them, they show deep love and devotion. It is a gift to have the law of God, to have the Ten Commandments, the precepts of the Church, these are for our salvation and our benefit. Finally, if we try to ponder and follow the law on our own, we will fail. Thankfully, we have a beautiful advocate and intercessor, our Heavenly Mother who can watch over us, guide us, and protect us with her mantle of grace. She is the most powerful, humble, and yet real woman we have in our faith. This New Year's Day, why don't we ring it in the right way and begin this year by giving thanks for the gift of God's only Son becoming man and also the gift of Jesus Christ giving us his mother to help us to be holy and chaste with a pure mind and heart on the things of God. May we love and see Christ through the eyes of Mary and may we always have a great devotion to our sweet lady our most blessed mother. When I had the opportunity to celebrate with Pope Francis on the 100th anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady in Fatima, Portugal, I was in deep awe by his words. Our Holy Father cried out with great joy during his homily, We have a mother. We have a mother. And we are called to cling to her like children. 
my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are not orphans. We are the children of God. We have a Heavenly Mother to help us to see this, help us to live as true children of the Father, and help us to experience the sweet, tender love and mercy of God. May God bless you. We now profess our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Mother of God is Mary's greatest title. In humility and faithfulness, she gave birth to her Son, the eternal Son of God, the Word made flesh. Let us join her as we come to the Father in prayer. For the Church, reflected in Mary, that we may faithfully bring forth Jesus Christ in our world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples under Mary's care, that in the coming year they may know peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the poor, the persecuted, and abandoned ones, that they will be consoled by our mother's powerful protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families celebrating the new year, that they will share the happiness of the family of Nazareth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed, that God will grant them peace, especially those from St. John the Divine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, hear the prayers of your people gathered to honor the most holy mother of your Son, our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Most Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to a setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries, for on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord, my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord. My God. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, 
so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Ronald Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, brothers and sisters, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Happy New Year, everyone.